Hi, welcome to Conversion Conversations. This is Cameron, and today I'm taking a look at Transformers Generation Studio Series 8602 Cup. We've got Cup here from the Transformers movie, uh, and this is a really interesting figure to me. Um, I've got a weird history with Cup. He was, when I got back into collecting, he was one of the first toys I ever owned. Um, the, the old generations, like the before Thrilling 30 generations cup. And I still really like that toy and that figure, that version of cup. Um, but I also just collect cups because I think they make cool vehicles. Like here, like I like just his general shape. It's weird and alien. I like, you know, this like pod up front, pod slash cockpit. I love that we've got the inset wheels on, on the inside. Um, I, he's teeny tiny in this mode, but he looks really, really good. I, I dig it a lot. Uh, I will say that for the purposes of what I look for in a cup, this doesn't do 100% everything I want a cup to do, um, but this is, again, it's Studio Series, so this is a cup that looks like it came right off the 1986 uh, movie screen at the deluxe price point, which is awesome. He comes with two accessories. He's got his little Energon goodie dispenser. We can set that up here. And then he's got his gun, and I really like this gun. I think, oh, I think this is, <laughs> I think this is a great gun. Uh, I, I dig that a lot. And yeah, other than that, I mean, he does what he needs to do. He rolls nicely. Um, I was worried about some clearance. If we look underneath, I was worried about clearance from his like elbow pads. But as long as you kind of make sure that everything's pushed up securely, um, he rolls really freely and nicely. I love the silver paint behind the windshield up here. I think that looks really great. Cup is just all around a nice little deluxe. And we can compare him. He is a little deluxe. We'll compare him to other cups. So here is the current cup in my collection. Uh, this is that Generations pickup truck. I love this. I don't know what about this pickup truck just makes me so happy. I know a lot of people were not as happy with this cup toy, uh, but I really, really like this pickup truck. I love, like there's things that I wish this cup did. Um, I love the feel of this bed, this matte paint that they use here to make it feel like a real truck bed. I wish that uh, the inside of, of Cup's little alien truck bed would do the same. Um, I love the exhaust and how you hide a gun here. It's cool that he's got weapon storage, but I, I like the integrated, like the hidden weapon storage just being more in disguise. Um, we can see the two of them right there. I do also, like I said before, I have other Cups. Uh, I don't use those cups as cup figures, but I use them as just little Titan Master transports. So here is uh, Titan's Return Cup, and you can see again, uh, you know, both very much evoking the G1 design, but this guy obviously can fit a little Titan Master in, and that makes me really happy. I like the little guns. I like, I've been customizing uh, back when Titans Return came out, I got a little bunch of extra Titan Masters and customized them. So I like just having Cup as like, just that's what Cybertronian transportation looks like. Uh, and then I've got the Transformers Legend Cup doing the same thing. So I, I like this mold. I've even got the Orion Pax version of this mold because I don't transform them. I just use them as um, just vehicles for like little display pieces because I like their little Cybertronian vehicle modes. And it's in that vein that I thought I'd enjoy this cup. Um, but I think just, I wish, like, because he doesn't have, like, the port for a Titan Master or Micro Master to peg into on the back, because I can't put someone in a cockpit, there's just enough there that in vehicle mode, he doesn't quite do everything I want a cup to do. But I will 100% say that for people that are just like, I want a G1-ass cup, uh, this is a great figure. I, I think I still prefer this one. Um, but if, if you, you know, just want as G1 as possible and you're like, I think that a Headmaster Cup is a dumb idea, then this is the one for you. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get into transformation. Uh, we'll, we'll get him off. All right, now it is time for us to transform Cup. We're starting out by lifting him up, looking at the undercarriage, and we're going to separate out his hands, his robot hands, from the back of his truck bed. And let me see if I can do that neatly. Usually I just kind of wiggle things until they come loose. There's not a ton of ways for me to grip these guys, unfortunately. Ah, well, I guess we, we can try and separate the truck bed and that'll get us off. This happens a lot too. For, for whatever reason, the like limbs are very modular on Cup, which is kind of cool. 
Um, maybe that makes remolding easier, so they might come off during transformation, then you just plug them back on. Same thing on this side. Come in, <laughs> yeah. Just pull, pull that arm out of its socket and then put it back in. It's easier than trying to just separate the hand. The hands we can see were pegged up in here. Uh, next we can come in up top and the forward wheel well is pegged together between uh, the forward piece and the back piece. And we can separate out the wheel well and then separate the two pieces. We gotta kind of move them diagonally against each other to get that tab nestled out of it, the place that it wants to sit. Same thing on this side. Separate the whole wheel well, pull it away from the car body, and then separate out that hand, or that leg piece, and we can move things down. We can move his arms out of the way, and we can stick with just his legs. We're gonna take this uh, back piece, and we're going to put it in uh, against the back of what is gonna become his leg, and then bring that forward wheel well down, and it's gonna click into place all nice and snug as a one solid joint uh, for, or one solid shin piece, calf piece for his leg. Pull out his foot, same thing on this side. Flipping things around, bringing this down, flipping that in. We've got his two legs and uh, he can stand a little bow-legged. The next thing to get rid of that bow-leggedness is to open up his shins. And th this is a, a cool thing to just get things at an angle in his vehicle mode. Um, there's like a catch in his leg that we can just close up and there's a tab here that the shin piece will close up on getting us normal robot feet uh, that are nice and straight. And again, same thing here where we can pull off that leg joint if we wanted to. Um, it's got me curious about remold possibilities uh, and I'll get into that in a little bit. Next we're going to come up top and we're going to separate out from the uh, windshield the rest of his little cab piece. We can flip out these arms and then separate out that uh, windshield piece, which gives us little crouched over cup in all his glory. Uh, his back can accordion up nicely, like so. Give us that nice flat uh, cup chest piece. Now that we've got the back out of the way, we can flip in these wheels. Those fold away very nicely. There are tabs on these wheels that go into ports on the front of his, or top of his cab piece, whatever you want to call it, to form a pretty nice tight little backpack. And then we can close in the arms. There are tabs on the side of his body that give the arms their place to uh, peg in. And then we just bring in eh, the, uh, the part that his shoulder connects to. It can just be rotated in and locked in a place. And we've got Cup right here, and he looks overall pretty good. Again, the goal of Studio Series is to give us a nice looking 1986 movie style G1 Cup, and this Cup, I think, does his job very nicely. Um, I think, again, as a result of it being Studio Series and their concern about scale, he's a little on the small side compared to previous Cups, um, but overall he looks pretty good. We'll do a quick comparison right now. So here is Studio Series Cup next to my current generation's cup. Which, again, for someone who wants G1 accuracy, like, this is obviously the way to go. Um, but there's just things that I really like about Generations Cup. I like his big stomping boots. I really like the way they kind of built out his legs. I like the transformation for him to flip out. I like his old style of gun. So that just, like, that's just a cup I think I just like a lot, despite maybe this one being kind of the better cup. And then here is the Titan's Return cup mold, and I was able to find the right head. Same thing with the Legends cup mold. And here, again, right, this one, the center one looks the closest to the movie design, and if that's what you want, I think it's a great choice. But for the other two, I just think that they had cooler transformation moments. My favorite transformation moment in Studio Series Cup is when you're building out his backpack and flipping in his wheels into his chest. I think that's a cool bit of design. But for the other two, I really like the way the chest compresses down. I think that's a benefit of obviously not having to keep a head attached to the robot the whole time. And then I really, really like the trick they use to build out these legs where they kind of invert themselves and re restructure themselves to build out into solid leg joints, uh, which, which I just really, really like. Um, 
In terms of head sculpting, like this and maybe even the Titans Return versions are my favorite cup head sculpts. Um, but I just as like an overall toy piece, I think I prefer the other cups I have, even if I don't really use them as cups, uh, to this guy as a combination of transformation uh, and final appearance, just because the G1 appearance doesn't do a ton for me. He does come with this cool black drop where he's fighting the cyber squid. Uh, I dig that a lot. Um, in terms of articulation, you know, you've got good head waggle there. And again, that, that sculpt does look pretty nice. Um, you've got twist at the waist. You've got rotation at the uh, shoulder, but this to me, like flipping it this way makes his shoulder, because it sits, like his shoulder joints sit attached to his body kind of at like nipple height instead of at the top where you assume his shoulder should be, uh, that looks a little awkward. Um, it can go up and down. It's got, you know, bicep swivel because of that dis uh, dislocating bicep. Uh, he can hold his Energon treat, and he's got essentially a really tight single uh, joint in his elbow. Um, no wrist uh, joint. Actually, yeah, no wrist joint there. Um, his waists, he can do the full Van Dam, no problem. He can go up that high. He can go back that high. He can get 90 degrees on the knees. Again, he's got thigh swivel. Um, because of his removable leg in case you blow off his leg with a grenade. And then he does have ankle tilt. So posability on Cup I think is pretty great. There's just a couple like design choices, and it's not really design choices, because they're sticking to the G1 style. Like I, I prefer the other look, like these shoulders sitting up higher gives them a more heroic build. Uh, these just seem a little droopy. Um, things like uh, this cup, for example, I think captures just that ancient haunted look. I like that head sculpt. A lot of people hate that head sculpt, but I really like that horrifying mummy visage that he has. It reminds me of some of the IDW Comics cup stories. Um, this one looks like a good 1986 cup, but for me, I think I'm just looking forward to seeing cup, uh, seeing this mold as a character other than cup. Uh, so I'll be doing a giveaway at the end of this video. Um, if anyone wants this cup, per my normal giveaway rules, just hit me up in the video comments. Say, I would like to enter the giveaway to win cup. Make that your comment. And then I will announce the winner next week. Uh, again, great mold. I think it's it's a fun little mold. I just, I'm looking forward to seeing it as possibly another character. I don't 100% know who I'd want to see it as. Maybe they do like a generation select style repaint and re-limbing to do an Orion Pax. That would be pretty neat. Um, a, a cup doesn't have like a ton of remold opportunities. I guess any other pickup truck transformer, you could do like Cybertronian version of it using the cup mold, which would be neat. And yeah, I, I look forward to getting an opportunity to own this mold just as a slightly different character because this is gonna remain my cup for now. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks everyone and I hope you have a great day. I'll see ya.